today we're going to talk about gene linkage. Genes that are on the same chromosome are said to be linked. Linked genes are inherited together. Genes will not separate during meiosis unless crossing over occurs. The genes on this chromosome will travel together to the same gamete. So genes A and B will be found in one gamete unless crossing over occurs, which is the case in these two chromatids. Let's look at chromosome 13. The first copy has all lowercase genes, A, B, C, and D. The second copy has all uppercase genes, capital A, B, C, and D. When separated during meiosis for the first copy of chromosome 13, no crossing over has occurred. So one cell gets little A, B, C, D, and the other cell would get capital A, B, C, D. If crossing over did occur between genes B and C, then one gamete would get little a, b, capital C, d, and the other gamete would get big a, b, little c, d. In gene mapping, we use crossover frequencies to determine the distance between genes. A linear map of genes on a chromosome means that we write it as a straight line. The further apart the genes on the chromosome, the higher the crossover frequency. The closer the genes, the lower the crossover frequency. Crossover frequency can be expressed in map units. So 1% crossing over equals 1 map unit. 50% crossing over equals 50 map units. Genes that are further apart are more likely to cross over or separate or are less likely to be linked or inherited together in the same gamete. Genes that are closer together are less likely to cross over or separate or are more likely to be inherited together. There is one rule for chromosome mapping and that is start with the genes that are furthest apart. Let's look at the analogy of the houses on Main Street. Arnold lives 12 doors away from Beth. Carlos lives 11 doors away from Deanna. Beth lives three doors away from Carlos. Arnold lives four doors away from Deanna and 15 away from Carlos. So what order are the houses on the street? Let's start with the biggest number, 15. And Arnold lives 15 doors away from Carlos. So we'll start our number line at 0 and end at 15. And Arnold is at house 0. Carlos is at house 15. Next, let's look at Beth. Arnold lives 12 doors away from Beth. So we're going to put Beth here at number 12. And we'll check because it says Beth lives 3 doors away from Carlos. The distance between 12 and 15 is 3, so we are correct. Beth is at house number 12. Next, let's look at Deanna. Arnold lives four doors away from Deanna, so let's place Deanna at number 4. And we will check. Is Deanna now 11 doors away from Carlos? 4 plus 11 is 15. So we're done. The order of the houses on Main Street are Arnold, Deanna, Beth, and Carlos. Let's take a look at some genes. We have B is bar-shaped eyes, C is carnation eyes, FB is fused wings, and S is scalloped wings. So the distance between FB and B is 2.5%. Let's start with the largest number, which is 11%. 
so the distance between C and S genes is 11. Let's put C at 0 and S at 11. From there, we want to look at a gene that has reference to both C and S. So let's look at FV is 3% away from C and 8% away from S. So if we put FV on number 3, we'll check, is that also 8 away from S? Yes, it is. 3 plus 8 is 11. Now we'll look at B and C. B is 5.5% away from C. And we'll check, is that also 2.5% away from FV? Yes, it is. So the distance, or the genes on our chromosome are C, FB, B, and then S. It can also be read the other way, so it's also correct to say that the genes are in the order S, B, FB, and C. Okay, this is another way to write the distance between the genes. So W and X are 5 apart, X and Y are 2 apart, Y and W are 7 apart, and let's start with Z and W are 8 apart. So we'll place Z on 0 and W on 8. And then we'll choose a letter that has reference to both Z and W. Let's look at Y. Y and W are 7 apart, and Y and Z are 1 apart. So let's place Y at number 1, and then we'll check, is that also 7 away from W? Yes, it is, because 1 plus 7 equals 8. Next, we'll look at X. X is 5 away from W and 2 away from Y. So if we place it at 3, then it is 5 away from W. And it's 2 away from Y. So the order of the genes on this chromosome are Z, Y, X, W, or W, X, Y, Z. Let's do one more example. Again, starting with the genes that are furthest apart, we're going to start with B and C. We'll place B on 0 and C at 12. Next, we'll look for two genes or a gene that has reference to both B and C, which would be D. The distance between D and B is 7, and C and D is 5. So if we place D at 7, then we'll check, is that 5 away from 12? Yes, it is. So D is at number 7, and then let's look at A. A says it's 2 away from B, so if we put it here, is that also 9 away from D? Is 2 plus 9, 7? No, it isn't. So maybe A is down here past B. If we put it at negative 2, then we can check, is that 9 away from 7? Yes, it is. That means the order of genes on this chromosome are A, B, D, C, or we could say it's C, D, B, A. And we're done.